Hey everybody, welcome to Survival Superhero. Today we are going over the top 10 things every prepper should stockpile. Make sure that you watch until number one because you can only survive three days without it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so we can help you with survival gear regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. There is a difference between items that you should have and items that you should stockpile. For example, you definitely should have a generator and a Dutch oven, but you certainly do not need to stockpile generators and Dutch ovens. On the other hand, you should be stockpiling bags of rice and canned goods. Here's the top 10 things every prepper should stockpile. Number 10, toilet paper and sanitary wipes. You might think this is not important, but you will quickly change your mind once you run out. Toilet paper is easy to stockpile and it lasts a very long time. Just make sure you store it away from moisture. You can also buy compact toilet paper tablets which are awesome because they save tons of space. Just add water to the small tablet and you have a fresh towel that you can use for toilet paper or anything else. Baby wipes are also a great thing to stock up on. Great for cleaning up without wasting some of your super important water supply. You can use these to clean your face, your hands, and the nether regions without wasting your water. Number 9. Antibacterial Soap and Hand Sanitizer If the grid goes down, we will not be as clean as we are today. Our bodies are not going to be used to that, so we will be more susceptible to bacteria and sickness. So keeping your hands and body clean is going to be very important. And even more so if you end up with scratches, scrapes, or wounds. Number 8. Batteries. Not only for your flashlights, but for your NOAA emergency weather radios, CPAP machines, medical devices, and more. Go through and list all the devices you will need personally during an emergency situation and make sure to stock up on each type of battery that your devices require. You should also stock up on some power banks for your devices and keep them charged in case of emergency. You can even get solar power banks that you can lay outside and will collect power from sunlight. We recommend the Rhino Tough Portable Solar Charger as well as the Big Blue 3 if you are in a less sunny environment. Check out the description below for some links. Number 7. Flashlights We recommend LED flashlights because they tend to last longer and they will not drain your batteries as quickly as incandescent bulb flashlights will. LED bulbs almost never burn out and a good LED flashlight could last decades. Get at least 5 or 10 small flashlights and scatter them throughout your house in different rooms, in your car, in your garage, your shed, and anywhere else that you might need some light if it is pitch black. This way you can grab one easily whenever you need it. It's also good to have a few hand crank flashlights as well in case you run out of batteries. If you need a good hand crank flashlight, we recommend either the Thorfire LED Camping Lantern, the Mecco Hand Cranking Solar Power Rechargeable Flashlight, the Eton American Red Cross Crank Powered Clip Ray Clip On Flashlight and Smartphone Charger, or Evolot's Hand Crank Flashlight Set. Check the description for links to all of these. Number 6. Clothing you probably will not be doing laundry during a grid down situation. If the power is out and you don't have running water, you will not be able to waste your drinking water supply doing laundry. So it's important to stockpile simple clothing items such as socks, underwear, changes of clothes, hats, gloves, and blankets. Number 5. Medical Equipment this includes 1% hydrocortisone cream for treating itchy rashes, bacitracin ointment for treating cuts, scrapes, insect bites, and stings, antifungal creams, bug spray, tick removers, band-aids, tourniquets, and you can also purchase pre-made medical kits that have everything you might need in them. Pet bandages and anything else you need to help treat your pet are also a great idea. Finally, you will want a copy of the Ultimate Survival Medicine Guide. What good is all this medical equipment if you do not know how to use it? This book will show you how to take care of medical emergencies yourself if you are unable to make it to a hospital. Number 4. Medicine Prices of medicine are likely to skyrocket during a prolonged emergency situation, so you want to stock up as much as you can now. 
Even right now, the cheapest brands of medicine are already expensive, but you can look forward to paying even up to a dollar per pill if you wait to stock up on medicine after disaster strikes. So now is the time to stock up. Adult medicines that you want to stock up on include ibuprofen, aspirin, Advil, Aleve, Benadryl, Imodium, Miralax, Sudafed, Allegra, Dramamine, and Pepsid. If you have children, make sure that you stock up on things like children's Tylenol, children's Motrin, and things like this. If you have babies, get the infant Tylenol, the infant Motrin, etc. In a disaster situation, hyperinflation is likely to occur across the board, so your cash supply will not last very long. You very well might go to the store and find out it's $25 or more for a tiny bottle of infant Tylenol, and if you can't afford it, you are kind of screwed if your baby gets a fever. If anyone in your family has medical conditions, make sure to stock up on any and all of their medication that you can. Number 3. Fuel this means stocking up on whatever fuel you will personally need. The most common fuel to stock up on is gasoline. Buy some gas cans and fill them up with gas. This can help you get out of town in an emergency. It's also great to keep your gas generator running. Propane is another great fuel to stock up on. If you have appliances that use one pound bottles of propane, definitely stock up on these as well. Butane is great if you have a butane camp stove or refillable butane lighters. Lamp oil is good for your oil lamps. Kerosene for things like kerosene heaters if you have them. And make sure you store your fuel in an outdoor structure like a shed, a barn, or a separate garage not connected to your house. It's extremely important that you store your gasoline away from any kind of heat like heaters or sunlight. Never store gasoline in your house or any room connected to your house. Firewood is also important, especially if you have a wood-burning stove or a rocket stove for cooking. Disposable lighters are great to stock up on, as well as candles. And finally, you might want to stock up on charcoal. If you plan to grill outside, charcoal is a great thing to have. You can use this to grill things from your freezer before they go bad. This is best to do early on in a survival situation. Make sure that it's safe though, because if it's a serious emergency and enough time has gone by, it could be a very dangerous idea to go grilling outside your house because it can attract people who might try to steal your stuff or worse. Number 2. Food Your body can only go three weeks without food, so you want to stock up on things like dried beans, dried rice, and dried pasta. These things will last for 20 years or more if you store them in sealed mylar with oxygen absorbers. You also want to stock up on spices. Many people overlook this, but in a survival situation, it's nice to have spices to make your food taste good. Survival is already going to be a tough situation, and being forced to eat terrible tasting food will just make you feel even worse. Definitely stock up on salt. Salt can be used to preserve food and will be a great item to use for trading and bartering in a grid down situation. Honey is another great thing to stock up on. Make sure that you get raw, unfiltered honey because regular honey will not last as long. Raw, unfiltered honey can last for decades and even longer. You also want to stock up on canned goods. Canned vegetables such as green beans, carrots, and peas are great to have on hand. Soups are also great to stock up on. Make sure also to stock up on freeze-dried food. Check the description for a link to some of the best tasting freeze-dried food. Make sure to stock up on pet food if you have pets, as well as baby food and formula if you have infants. Finally, you want to have at least four or five can openers because they will eventually break. We recommend military style P38 and P51 can openers, which you can find in the description. Number one, water. The human body can only go three days without drinking water. The minimum amount of drinking water you need is one gallon of water per person per day. But we recommend you store at least two gallons per person per day, so you have extra water to use for cooking, hygiene, etc. The easiest way to start storing water is to buy cases of bottled water. It's easy to store and easy to take with you if you need to leave. The next level of storing water is to get some water bricks or bulk water storage containers. You can get something like the 7 gallon aquatainer if you need to save space, 
or a 55 gallon drum if you have more space. You should also grab some regular buckets. You can fill these up with water and then use a water filter to purify the water for drinking. You should also check out canned water or emergency water. It's more expensive than bottled water, but it is an option if you want to check it out. You should also stock up on water purification tablets. And finally, you definitely need to stock up on water filters for your particular brand of water filter. If you don't have a water filter, we recommend the Berkey water filter as well as the Sawyer mini water filter. Check the description below for a link to all of these. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of survival, prepping, and much more. Check out this playlist of our top 10 videos of survival gear and prepping, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.